Hey everyone, welcome back to the City Stead. Today, little Oz and I are going to be talking about winter reading list. I've made a winter reading list of books that I want to try to read over the winter, or at least look at, review some, and I thought I would uh, share with you guys some of my winter reading list, and we're also going to be doing a giveaway in this video to all of our lovely subscribers that we have. We want to give back to you guys and we're going to give you a gift. To, so just watch a little bit and we'll tell you how we're going to go about doing that. So let's see what we have first. Now my wife and I are pretty avid readers and I got to admit in the past couple of years I've really been slacking off on my reading which is part of the reason I'm putting together this winter reading list because I want to get back on the horse and get some more books read. My wife is a far more studious reader than I am. So she keeps up a lot better than I do of her reading. But for Christmas, she bought me a few new books that she thought would really interest me. And I'm excited about that because they are a couple that I'm definitely really, really excited about. The first one she got me was this book called Farm City. Now this is by Novella Carpenter who wrote the Essential Urban Guard, Urban Farmer Handbook. And if you haven't read that, it is chocked full of awesome information for any, really any kind of garden, but a lot of urban type garden, market garden stuff. That book is chocked full of good information. Now her background is that she was born to some hippies basically. And, uh, I believe they moved into the city or they lived in the city and she started making over a vacant lot so she had a vacant lot near her and she made it into a little homestead and this is like uh this is her memoir about her life story so that sounds really interesting to read she's uh pretty fascinating and she's big at, i would think she's pretty big in this you know urban especially in urban gardening and farming and homesteading uh, like I said, that other book is the Essential, I think it's the Essential Urban Farmer, and it's got a lot of good information, so you should probably check that book out if you want to get some information about, if you're into urban gardening or you just want to have information in general about small space gardening, that's probably a good book to look at. I also got this Made From Scratch book from my wife for Christmas. Now, this is Jenna Wongenrich. Probably not pronouncing that right, but that's how it is. <laughs> now this is uh, her, her story about being a city girl. Hey, <laughs> it's her story about being a city girl and yearning for a homestead lifestyle. So she leaves the city and goes out in search of a homestead. So this sounds pretty cool. She's learned how to do everything from scratch. Uh, I mean, this sounds interesting. I think that's going to be a good read also. Uh, now we're going to get into a couple books I've had that I've been putting off reading. The first one is Paw Paw. It's the, about America's oldest native fruit. Now, if you don't know much about Paw Paws, they are a native fruit of North America. And they're kind of rare now. You don't see them or hear about them very much. A lot of people don't know what they taste like. I've actually never tasted one before. But I'm very fascinated by it just because of the nativeness of this and the fact that nobody knows anything about it. So I planted a couple of pawpaw trees uh, two years ago. Uh, two in, the one year old and, and two year old. Because one of them was already a plant when I, or it was already a sapling when I planted it. The other was a seed. And they're both up right now. They're both doing pretty good. So I'm excited that in a few more years I might actually finally get to taste my first pawpaw. Unless I can find some wild pawpaw fruit tree somewhere, which I am always on the lookout for, just in case. <laughs> but this book is all about it, In Search of America's Lost Fruit. And if you are interested in pawpaws, there was a channel, a Whistle Thicket. If you're not familiar with Whistle Thicket, you should probably go check them out. But he did a lot of really good pawpaw videos over the summer. He has pawpaws, he grows them. He harnessed seeds. I think he's selling seeds, but he was making money selling some of his pawpaws and doing different things with them. And he did some really good pawpaw videos. If there's a playlist, I'll put that up there. If there's not a playlist, then I'll just put his channel 
up there. But you should check him out. He did a lot of really good stuff about that. My next book actually goes to my New Year's resolution, Wild Fermentation. This book is all about fermenting. Now, how cool is that? So, I don't know anything about fermenting. I'm just learning. My very first time. I've never done anything. Uh, we're going to start with that com kombucha. And that's it. So, this book is a guide for me on how to do any kind of fermenting. And there's different recipes in here. You know, so I'm going to be going through this and finding stuff that I interests me that I want to try to do. And we're going to try some stuff. And this is going to be a really good reference book to have on hand at all times for all of our fermenting goods. I heard really good things about it, and that's why I picked up this particular one. I'm sure there's some other ones, but I, I heard a lot of really good things about this one. So that's why I got that. Uh, this I checked out from our library. It's called Maple Sugar. Now, I got this book for a reason. I'm not going to go all the way into it right now. But there will be a video in the next week or two about why I chose to read this. I am interested in the process of doing it and just learning all sorts of different things about homesteading in general. So I picked that book up because it looked good and interesting and it looked like it had some really good information in it. Now, my last book on my list is this right here. It's called The Unsettlers. Now this book has three tales of homestead journeys in it. And they're kind of told in a journalistic uh, way. The stories are about a couple in Missouri, a couple or yeah, a couple in Montana, and then a couple in Detroit, Michigan. Now, I'm from Michigan, so Detroit's a big deal. It's right, you know, down from us. So that's really cool to me that there's urban farming going on down in Detroit. And I know they're doing more stuff down there. And this is a story of farmers who came, I can't remember where they came from, but they came here to Detroit and they continue to farm, you know, the land down there in Detroit. So that's pretty cool. It's three different tales. So there's something for everyone. There's up in the mountains, there's going down to Missouri. I know that's a big homesteading area. And then, like I said, there's like an urban type story. So this is three journeys into homestead and homestead lifestyle. And the thing about this book, when my wife bought it, she ended up buying two of them. Two of them. She wanted us to have a book to do a giveaway on. So this is part of my Christmas present with something for the channel to do a giveaway. Now, we're going to give this book away. And we're also going to give away probably a few seed packets that we got because we got a lot of seeds. And kind of maybe get you guys something there. So all you have to do to enter into the giveaway, if you're interested in urban homesteading or homesteading or farming any sort or just like to read maybe, all you have to do is in the comments below, tell me one book from your winter reading list and that'll enter you. And uh, let's say a week from when we post this we will go through the random comment generator and we will find a comment and that's how we'll pick the winner and then i will send you this book and i'll send you a few seed packets of seeds that we have that are extra that we're probably not going to use this year or we just have laying around and that's it that's going to be our, our giveaway that we're going to do i'm excited to do our first giveaway for all of our loyal subscribers who watch our videos and keep up to date with us so this should be fun for you guys, hopefully, and I look forward to seeing what is on all of your guys' winter reading list. And I guess that's it. We're done. Can you say bye? Can you say bye? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. You want to say bye? Can you say bye? <laughs> Mr. Man says bye. A little odd, you say bye? All right. That's it, guys. We're going to get out of here. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. We're out of here. <laughs>